Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to put Siri on your iPod Touch, iPod Touch 3rd Gen, 4th Gen, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPads 1, 2, and 3, or the new iPad. So, firstly, you have to update your iOS device to iOS 5.1.1, which I'm going to show you now. About. And there it is, 5.1.1. And you all and you also need to make sure your iOS device is jailbroken. For this to work, you need to jailbreak your iPod Touch, which I will put a link to it down below. So first thing you do is you have to load up Cydia. Just waiting for that to load. Okay, here we go. And after that, you needed to go into Manage, Sources, and uh, Edit, and add the source that I have in the description below, which is uh, repo.seriport.ru. And after you've completed that, scroll down and find it, and then install Seriport Original. Now if you're an iPad user, you need to go scroll down and Siri port iPads. Do not use Siri port original for iPads. Only use it for iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd gen and 4th gen. And after that's done, you need to click install. Don't worry about that. Confirm. And I'll give you guys a heads up on how that's done afterwards. Alright guys, I'm back and it has a um, fully installed Siri port on there. So now all you need to do is just respring your iOS device. This will take about up to 30 seconds to 1 minute. But in this case I don't think it's going to last that long. There we go. So after that's done, you need to unlock the device. Go into settings. And... Uh, Go down to where it says Siri Port Are You Original? Install Certificate. And we'll come up with this, uh, this website. So make sure the Siri service status is online. Otherwise, then if it's offline, this won't work. So all you do is install certificate and press OK for opening up a new window. After that, you install the profile. And after that's done, make sure Siri works. Hi Siri. Okay, so as you can see, I have a 4th gen iPod Touch running full Siri, so let's do some demos. Make a reminder for 7am to brush my teeth. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It's awfully slow. on the visible. Set an alarm for 7 p.m. So I just got to let focus. There you go. Here we go. Should be okay now. It's incredibly slow. Bad Wi Fi here. Setting the alarm. And also, this is an okay. iPod Touch fortune. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it's set it for 7 pm, so I'm just gonna turn it off because I don't want my alarm ringing me at 7 pm. 
So just turn that off. And uh, after that's done, yeah, that's basically it. So now you have full working Siri on your iPod Touch. Yeah. Right, thanks guys. Be sure to comment and subscribe. See ya.